Hi guys, I'm Nagadepcha and today I would like to talk about new Shonen Jump series. There was a quite a lot of them and yeah, I want to just talk about, um, about what I think about them, which are good, which are not, you know, and which for me is the best of them. And it wouldn't be easy. So firstly, I'm going to start with Boku Tachi wa Benkyo ga Dekinai, or We Never Learn. I actually did a video about this new manga, new series. And so far, uh, Boku Tachi is kind of very interesting harem. Like, I can see this could be be good, like interesting, even it's not tagged as harem. There is a lot of girls around one guy, so it probably would be harem manga. And I like drawing, it's cute, it's really nice, it's really really cute and I, I do really like it, those clean lines and like a little bit of choppiness, I don't know how to call it, it's cute. But I have some slight issues because I'm not sure if in future the scenario which is in this manga could still work. And yeah, I'm a bit worried if it wouldn't go but boring in the end. Like so far I've read 12 chapters and yeah, it's okay, but you know, it's just okay, not super awesome, like, I'm a little bit interested, but I'm just like, oh yeah, it's okay, but there is nothing extremely special about it, like, nothing I would love, and yeah, nothing extremely special, like, main character is very unique, and I like it that his jack of all trades, it's cute and I like it. But the girls are kind of very stereotypical. Like we have a girl which is extremely cute and clumsy. We have a little bit of cinderish girl and we have, you know, tomboy sports girl. Uh, that's very, you know, non-original at all. So. Like I said, I'm not sure if it can work in the future for me still, if I would be still interested in that. I like interaction between characters because that's where they shine. It's like cute, the main character is very interesting, like I said. He is, I like that he's teaching these girls and the problem that both girls are geniuses but they just want to study things which are not good at. Even it's like kind of stupid. Their reason is extremely stupid. I'm like, okay, what I'm reading, please, like, why is this happening? There is no reason. But I probably can't take it seriously. Yeah, I can't take it seriously even. It looks a bit serious. And that's one of my problems. Other, like I've said, problems is I don't know if the story, like this story is about a boy who is teaching girls. Um, it's kind of, you know, not much interesting sounding. But maybe it can do something differently. I don't know. So far, I gave this 7 out of a 10, which is good. It's okay, but not something like super awesome. We'll see in the future if Bakutachiwa could be better. But as a harem, if I'm talking about harem, as a harem it's pretty good. Because I'm not that kind of someone who would like harems and I've read few of them and some of them are like so freaking horrible. <laughs> As a harem, Bakutachiwa is really good, like, there is not some fan service unnecessary and the 
relationships is kind of okay, even though all the girls are like into him so much that it's ridiculous. So I guess this would probably end as typical harem. And I kind of don't like it. But I still have my hopes, so we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, Bakutachua is interesting. And it has some unique things here and there. Not something like super awesome, but good. Good enough to read it and not disappointing for me so far. The other, yeah, the other manga new series is Dr. Stone. And I had kind of high hopes for it because I don't know authors, okay? I didn't read anything from them. But I've read description and it sounded pretty good. But I have kind of issues. I know it's shonen, so it would be naive and sometimes a bit stupid and, you know, it's shonen. A lot of things happen in shonen nowadays. But Dr. Stone is... Character sounds pretty interesting, I admit. And the whole like idea of apocalypse when people turn into stone is super awesome. But I've read like 10 chapters and it's so freaking rushed. Like, hey, I, I would like to know more about the world. I I'm probably like, I do really need to know more things about the world around, about how it happened, about the characters. It's just like, bam, 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 this happened, that happened. He survived, he didn't survive. He woke up and then woke up and I did that and that and that. It's just so freaking fast for me that I just can't get into the story because it's so fast. And yeah, characters are interesting. There are some stereotypical things like that one guy who turned against them it's cool but even at the star you can i had i knew that he would turn on them like so obvious uh in a previous chapter like i have read 10 so there was something which something started to be a little bit interesting so i hope it would get better but when things go so fast, I have hard times to get into the story. And this was very fast. The art is good. Very good. Uh, the characters are, well, pretty simple. We have an extremely simple but strong guy. We have a genius guy. And we have, like, the third the guy is very intelligent and very strong. So, if he would be willing, well, okay. And, well, it's about that they are trying to survive ap apocalypse. And the genius guy is just so freaking clever that, I don't know, like, uh, it doesn't feel realistic. But, like, it's maybe too over the top for me. Like, if he would think more like, oh yeah, this is a good idea, let me do that and that. But it just, he's just so freaking clever that it's just too much for me. Like, I don't mind genius, guys. Like, if we look at that, no, that's a great work with extremely clever people. And I didn't feel that it's over the top. I was so much into it. But Dr. Stone is kind of over the top with the cleverness of guys. And even it's even more extreme because his partner is extremely dumb. I feel like, okay, that's just, I don't know. <laughs> they doesn't feel like real people, you know? I know in real life there are dumb people and extremely clever people and something between, but these characters, they, like, don't feel real. And I can't get into it. 
So yeah, I gave it 7 out of a 10 because it's still very interesting and I want to see what the author would do with it. And the uh, art is amazing, like seriously. And it got pretty interesting in ten, chapter number 10, so maybe in the future it would be better. So, But I'm really afraid that it would be so freaking fast that I wouldn't be able to go into story, into characters, and I wouldn't care about them. And if I can't care about characters... I just don't enjoy it, and that's my biggest problem. That's still very interesting manga. Like, I like the idea of the apocalypse and the stone thingies. It's it's very interesting and I appreciate a unique idea. So yeah, Dr. Stone. I feel Dr. Stone might be good in the future, we'll see. Other new series is Harapeko no Marie or Hungry Marie. And this story, even I gave it 7 out of a 10, because I usually give it to all series I'm starting, like because I'm changing my ideas when, it, when I read it. Harapeko no Marie so far is the best out of those. I like. Uh, is better than Dr. Stone and Harapaka is better than Bakutachi wa Benkyo ga dekinai. Definitely better. It's I read nine chapters and the story is extremely interesting. I'm really really into the story. And it's kind of funny but I have a slight problem with comedy in this manga because it's not my taste much so I don't laugh when I'm expect to laugh so in comedy it's you don't enjoy it as much but still I'm very into characters and very into story even I don't laugh as much but I can see if Harapeko would go like this in the future it could be pretty good Sadly, I haven't read Balzabib, I'm sorry, but there is so many great manga that I just can't read everything at all. So, I'm definitely, but I'm definitely going to read it, like, soon. Probably after I finish with Dragon Ball, which I'm reading right now, and it's pretty long manga. <laughs> but yeah, Harapiko, I like characters, and the gender bender idea is very unique like yeah i think it was in ranma haven't read it or watched it too but there was like a guy who changed it into a girl but in harapeko we have a guy who changes into the girl but he shares his body with uh, marie which changes into his body it's kind of very complicated but yeah <laughs> it's unique and i do really like it about it and the characters are, for me, kind of more deeper, or I feel. And the fights in this are amazingly done. So, still even it's 7 out of a 10, I can feel in the future it could be pretty awesome. So, it's definitely better than Bakatachiwa, Benkyo Gadekinai, and... Dr. Stone, definitely better. Yeah, I do like Harapeko and Marie more than those two. Yeah, it's probably second best of all new series in Shonen Jump. Second best for me. Because I like the drawing, it's very nice. You can see that the author did something before because his. The art is amazing in this one, like seriously, amazing art. For Shonen it's extremely amazing. The other mangas, you, man, you can see that authors probably didn't do much work before. Definitely you can see that in their uh, drawing. But this author of Harapeko and Balzebu, he did something before. So he drawn and his style is more like complex now better so art is amazing in this one sadly i'm losing all the 
Balzebub reference is because I didn't read it, so fuck me. But still, even I, so far I gave it so nothing, it's very promising, so I hope it would get better and I, I can't wait for it. Our manga new Shonen Jump series is Porano Yuga Cookie. Sadly, I find only first chapter. Sadly. Sadly. Which gets me pretty mad because for me, Porano Yuga Cookie is the best of new series. Just, I read just first chapter and I truly love it the most. It's extremely cute drawing and the whole idea and premise it's like a mob psycho 100 mixed with psychic and i love both of those you know i love them i love mob psycho and i love psychic so it's like a very good mix of those two but sadly that's just my opinion based on the first chapter which was extremely good but it's it's so freaking cute and so naive that it's... I really want to see his adventure in a human world and in human school. And we can see that he has a dangerous side on his on him. He could be pretty strong. And I actually love about the funny stuff in his mind. It's definitely my kind of comedy and humor. And I love so freaking much. So please somebody... I need you to translate this because it's amazing and even I hope like somebody would do that because I gave it 8 out of 10 just based on the first chip. that's how much I loved it and it's hard to tell about manga when you just read first chapter but I love it and first impression is pretty important even though I usually like slow starters so even if it starts slowly I'm okay I'm like maybe a little bit invested in the story so I'm going to continue and when the work becomes amazing over the time I'm even more happy and it's definitely better than it's definitely better than something which starts amazingly and it's crap in the end yeah, that's worse option. <laughs> so Purana Yuga Cookie is best for me. If you like Map Psycho or Psychic Kusio, this manga is definitely for you. I guess. I want it to be translated. Why don't you translate it? Seriously, people are now so much into romance, comedy and definitely romance and harem shit they just don't appreciate it out of work. Fuck. The other one is Robot X Laser Beam. I read only 8 chapters and it's made by the author who did Kuroko no Basket. Never read it, never watched it, I'm sorry, I'm not much into... Well, my only sport manga I've read or watched is Hajime no Ippo and I'm still reading it, so... Yeah, I'm not much experienced with sport manga or anime and Robot laser beam is interesting character wise even though to feel connected with main character is impossible because he is like alien alien straight out of this world because he's so freaking stoic and robot like but the side characters are pretty interesting to me to continue but this story is just classic well not much classic sport theme actually and I must say I love golf in real life or at least watching it in TV I like it it's not boring for me in this manga I kind of not sure if I like the golf aspect. I don't actually much care, but it, it's ch eight chapters, so maybe in, in future it would get better. And I really want to know about the uh, characters, like their relationships, the rivalry is pretty well done in this. So 
It could be interesting to like on this side. I do really like side characters more than Raba. Yeah, and um, like the whole idea is pretty unique too. Like he don't want to do a call, but he got interested with that other guy. So he's like, okay, if I want to fight with him or have a match, I need to do the whole glob thing. The whole call thing. Well, it's annoying, but why not? So, uh, it's interesting, but I'm not much sure about Rabat. It's about golf, and people actually don't like it much. So, I don't know if this will survive. Rabat Laser Beam, even it's from famous author of Kurokono Basket I've never read. Characters are very well, well done here. The other things and art too, but other things not so sure about it. Like it can be boring pretty fast, so he needs to make it I guess a character wise, so you would be invested in the characters really a lot and even not much about golf but into characters. Well that's strategy too. And the last one is U19 or Under19. I read 10 chapters, first three in a good translation, others in pretty shitty one, but still it's okay. Or first two in good. U19 is, well you can say, I think this author never did any manga before. Because it's so freaking cheesy. Oh my god, it's so cheesy. <laughs> Sometimes when I see something, I feel so embarrassed for the author that he thought about some kind of stupid idea here. Like, I feel so embarrassed for him. Poor guy. You make it so cheesy. You are so adorable, author. I give it 7 out of 10. Still, it has a lot of unique ideas. Unique power for a main character, and I find it cool. That power is so freaking cool. Like, seriously, that's what I've never seen before. Maybe it is in some manga, but I've never seen it, and I've read a lot. Idea is good, and I like it. But there are kind of a lot of che unnecessary cheesiness, which might turn people from it. Because, yeah, I feel embarrassed reading it, like, poor guy, he's... Oh my god, I feel so embarrassed. And there are some, you know, like... I can be okay with adults being douches to the kids, because they believe it would help. The You need to understand how Japanese society works. It's not like, for one. You know, the society is, their society is like, people work for the whole society, not just for the one individual someone. That's like their mindset. Of course, a lot of, I guess, a lot of new generation thinks for themselves more than for all society, like, but still, like, in Japan, doing for whole Japan is like ranked more than just do for yourself so you need to understand that's why this manga is like why it is because the people in this manga think that yeah children are problematic and they make the our society worse so if we are going to be strict our society would be better and we would be happier that's what they're trying to achieve in this manga. And even though like there is a teacher who seems to be a bully, you know, that big bulky teacher. Actually, sometimes I thought that he is not so evil when he, how is he presented. Of course, in the eyes of teenager, he would be pretty evil. But he actually wants main character to be a good person. You can see it in him, even his... Sometimes going too much far with bullying. 
because you know sunset it sucks in this I guess and other sucks but I had a feeling that if Arthur would make this problem more you know realistic it would be better but it's so freaking cheesy and there was that guy from that um oh my god some there was that guy who uh, went for that girl and he said shoot like the student like what the hell you can do this and nobody would care come on is this even possible? Like, at that point I was like, okay, Arthur, you need to think what do you want because this is just so crazy. I can see that this could be axed because it's extremely cheesy and Arthur presents some nice ideas, but he kind of can't of flesh them out properly. There's a problem with a lot of new in the industry I guess because some people like write books or do manga and they have a great ideas but they present it pretty cheesily and nobody likes it because it's so stupid for them I feel that U19 is pretty interesting and it would be awesome if he would put more badass into it I guess but hey, even if it would got axed, I hope he would make more and greater mangas because this guy definitely has great ideas. So I give it 7 out of 10 because it's not so bad, it's pretty interesting, it's cheesy, yeah, but it's very interesting and I do like it. It's cool and even his drawings actually pretty nice. So yeah, that's a new... Shannon Jump series and they are not particularly bad, not like any of them. And they have a lot of potential, but you know, it just depends how Alter would be able to work on the story. And I have a feeling that sadly, people who are reading it like shitty manga. And even something has a very interesting story or characters, they just prefer harem things. And they would like harem to be there than something which would be ten times better. So yeah, I'm bashing Bakutachiwa, Benkyo, Gadeki Nai. It's not bad, but I think like there are better better ones than it. Like Harapeko and Poro no Ruyakuki. But sadly, I have a feeling that people would like Bakutachi more just because they are pretty nice girls. That's all what it is about. And I don't know, I'm kind of disgusted by like standards in manga now. Even in anime, when there is a new season, you can see that <laughs> usually harem or romantic things which are totally shitty in men up and are on top like what the hell people just like it because nice girls what's about good anime like which actually has some great stories and great characters and not just nice looking girls i'm so disgusted by the standards like seriously at least this season we have shingeki no kyojin and boku no hero academia which are actually good things i'm glad that not some shitty harem thing is overpowering it but still like what the hell happened with the taste of people i'm thinking and i'm thinking that like bakotachiwa would definitely go on in some good manga like poro would be eggs just because people are so fucking stupid so yeah, that's my opinion. I liked Poro and Harapeka the most of them, but I can say the others were bad. Just, it's not long, not much into the story, so I can't say much about it, you know? But definitely, I recommend you to read them and make your own opinion.
and please don't be a harem slut and <laughs> don't be a harem slut and just and don't like something just because there are nice looking girls into it please 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 so yeah i'm too not just liking something just because there are nice looking guys so yeah please look more into characters and story than art and nice looking girls please be more open-minded but it's hard to tell this to nerds and otakus who just lost their wife who oh my god so yeah that's my whole talk about new Shonen Jump series and goodbye, see you next time.